Hi, I'm Terry Orinji with AV Showrooms. And I'm Peter Bruniger with AV Showrooms as well. And we're reporting on the Cap Fest. It was a good show this year. It was a good show, and the rooms that I happened to attend and listen in were, were very good sounding rooms. I thought so too. I thought that uh, uh, some of the standout rooms, and we'll go through them. Let's let's start okay. right now. Let's, let's start, start out. Hey, alphabetize it, okay? All right. <laughs> uh, Alta Audio. Yeah. Yeah. Alta Audio. Yeah. Was, not that I'm surprised because I've heard them before. Yeah, they've. Uh, they, I believe they won a gold show award a year or so ago. I forget. Uh, the proprietor's name is Mike Levy. Mm -hmm. uh, he had on display the Rias, and they were just sounding spectacular. Mm. Uh, they won a gold show award. Wait till you see this video. Very musical. Yep, it's and a, a good yep. price point, right, Peter? Yeah, right. yep, yep. It just boom, knocked the ball out of the park. That was a great yeah, run. Yeah, that was outstanding. Outstanding. Uh, next one I would say is Audio Note. Oh, there you, you know, go. One of my, one of my Doing favorites. the alphabetizing thing again. I mean, <laughs> <laughs> but no, the Audio Note room had Vincent Belaget playing. Mm hmm. Uh, we know Vincent personally. In fact, he was in our home to do a review uh, for Audio Note uh, just less than 10 days ago. So it was a very good sounding room. They had set up a digital setup this year. Mario Binner from Audio Note UK flew over on a, a short notice to run the room. Mm -hmm. It came out really good. I thought the sound was just yeah, it exceptional. Was. And it was it was a lower priced Audio Note system. Yep, you don't. 16,000, I think. Yeah. Yeah, we're sitting next to a million dollar audio note system. Oh. I mean, you can spend a million dollars and you do get that extra magic, but you get the audio note sound at lower price points as well. It was, it was a yeah. wonderful room. Congratulations, yep. Mario. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Really good job. <laughs> and to Vincent, too. I would call it the Vincent Belize show because uh, he was everywhere. I mean, I saw him. He was in the audio note room. He was in another room playing. He was uh, he just was all over, and uh, he's a fantastic cellist. He's a star at the audio show. He is a star. Anyway, I've I've got to jump right in here. Okay, go. Classic audio with a UHA deck. Well, wow. every time I passed this room, it sounded better. And then by the time Sunday morning came, uh, I got I went into the room with this tape. It's Ed Pong's Beethoven Sonata for violin. Ed Pong. And piano number seven. Such shameless. And I was rocking to Beethoven. Now I don't know if you can rock to Beethoven. To a, a violin and piano. I was. I was. Sonata. I was. She was tapping her feet. Yeah. So I'd have to say this was probably my favorite room. Uh, last year, it was a gold show. It was award a gold show award winner, winner too. Yeah. yeah. And uh, yep. this year also, uh, yep. the the combination of Greg Barone's tape deck. With I, the Hartsfield, I think, on Sunday morning? Yes, and the T5.1s. Right. So they were magical. alternating back and forth. And I'm not surprised yep. because I know John has, it's, his speakers are great with, yep. with delicacy and female vocals and instruments. Yep. And Greg's tapes and his tape deck are so impeccable. Yeah, the horns are as fast as This was not lightning. a surprise. Yeah. So, yeah. Yep. congratulations. Yeah, I, the only thing about the room, I'll give a little bit of a ding, there was a little bit of a noise in, mm -hmm. in the left channel. There was some issue with the amplifier. So, as that caveat, it still won the award because the sound was so good. Mm -hmm. We won't let things like that uh, take away from the overall quality of the room or the overall awarding a certificate because these are things that are beyond the manufacturer's control when there's a, a slight equipment problem like that. Yeah, and when yeah. it can sound that good yeah. with a problem, then yeah. you know that he has a really good problem. Yeah, you know. Both, yeah. both of them do. Yep. Uh, another room I'll throw out there, the NOLA and the Deja Vu room was sounding really good. Oh, yes. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. That was a good combination. Really good combo this year. Um, the uh, secret sauce to Carl Marshall Cerdo's uh, loudspeakers are that you can sit anywhere in the room. Mm -hmm. And uh, this is a, a real gold star as far as I'm concerned. Yeah, they so he, You can hear the music beautifully no matter where you are in the yeah. room. Yeah, yeah, you can sit, yeah, you're right Terry, you can sit almost anywhere. He has an open baffle mm -hmm. for, the, uh, for, the top, right. uh, for the top frequencies. Uh, the, uh, the, they, they look closed, but they're actually open in the back in his, uh, for, in, in his speakers. And they're beautiful. Yeah, no stuff. They're so they sound there. beautiful, and yep. they are beautiful to look at. So yep. very, very nice room. Another yep. gold show award winner. Yep. I'll give another one. Uh, using our music this time. We had forwarded over the night before we did the video shoot uh, to Bracasti for the Bracasti uh, shoot. 
and uh, they had the Agorias, uh, they had the Bricasti M12, which is the new line stage that combines mm -hmm. the, the DAC into one unit, so that now you can plug your analog source or another digital source in. Uh, the M1 is the, stand, is the industry standard uh, mm -hmm. uh, Bricasti product, mm -hmm. so this is really expanding the range. And you'll hear the detail in the in the video. We played the Mike Valentine uh, track ac excerpts, and it's just fantastic. Yeah. We went from one to another to another, and you'll hear it. It's it was real good. Yeah, Brian, uh, the proprietor of Bracosti, is is very much into new music. Yep, yep. And um, new ideas in reproducing sound, and a very modern man as far as uh, audio. Well, going. he's from the pro audio yes. world. Yeah, we work traditional music, uh, but uh, you'll you'll hear very modern sound. Yeah, uh, it's a uh, very fast, detailed, and realistic. He's a very talented man. Yeah, yeah, very sure is. Man. Yeah. Okay, you want me to throw out another one? Yeah, go ahead. Odyssey, which is one of my fun favorite rooms. Claw Sponge gives me such a hug. I think I'm gonna let like, my insides are gonna explode, but it's so warm and wonderful, and his partner Alex, just great people. Yeah, the, to, the pair of them made a great sound this year. Uh, excluding Source, $6,900. Mm -hmm. You can't beat $6,900. I mean, holy smokes, for a high-end audio system, yeah. it was awesome. And I'm not surprised because these are two very good people in the business. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, so. Okay, let me step in here. I'll take, a, I'll take the rain. I'll throw one out. Trialed Wire Labs mm -hmm. this year with Living Voice and Border Patrol. Oh, gold show winner. Whoa. A couple of things. Border Patrol. It seems like Gary Dews has it down as far as tubes go. Yeah. He's, yep. he's so quiet in yep. that room. Yep. With the Living Voice speakers, they always sound yep. so good together. Yep. This time it was a little better than sounding good. It was exceptional. It was very good. It and was very and good. I'll tell you, Pete from Trialed Wire Labs. I can't believe his price points. Yep. And it, he could make a room sound this good at the prices that he's... We're going to have a video. Yeah, we did. For the and, first time, Pete has his own video right. this year. And I'm really proud of him because he he tells his story of how the yeah. wires are made and the price points. And mm -hmm. he's giving me the numbers and I'm going, where are the zeros? <laughs> <laughs> They're affordable. Was, I mean, you'll see. You'll see. It's coming soon. Yeah, coming soon. Uh, another in, another very very good room was a legacy room this year. They had teamed up with Raven Audio. Raven's a newer tube amplifier company. It's a couple that's in charge of the company, and uh, the tubes and the the speakers just made a match made in heaven. Um, mm, it's a good yeah, pairing. Yeah, yeah. And they're doing uh, as as they told me, they do all of their shows with legacy audio. Yeah, so. yeah. The area speakers were sounding really really good and off the charts. Really full good. of music. Yeah, like those. Yeah. Uh, yep. Speakers always sound. Yep. Uh, another, uh, speaking of uh, good amplifiers, uh, Kevin Hayes was up from Florida. Oh, yeah. Yep. Yeah. He had his 200 IQs. I think they were the monos. The you? monos. He had the mono 100 blocks. watts per channel. 100 so watts per channel. Yep. Watts. Yep. He's going to send us a pair in a couple months. We'll have them in uh, listing room number two. Very, very yep. um, interesting um, amplifiers. Yeah. I, I, I'm looking forward to having them here. Yeah, because it, if anything goes wrong, they shut off. I like that. Yeah, and they, that's right. Yeah, it's, I mean, how cool is that? You don't blow out resistors. If a tube is weak, it shows it to you. It's uh, it's called IQ for a reason. It's intelligent. It's smart. It's smart. <laughs> like it's designer. Yeah. <laughs> Another very good room was the Care Audio Room. Uh, mm. I was impressed. Uh, David Burning uh, was in the room exhibiting. Uh, Sunil, who runs the room and runs Care Audio, really does care about audio. No pun intended. He really is a, a, a decent man who has a great set of ears, and he can. He has chosen a great portfolio of products. Mm -hmm. uh, for, he works yeah. tirelessly. Yeah, this is, this, yeah. I mean, it's his business, or yeah. one of his businesses, but it's a passion because yeah. he will do anything to help you get good sound. Yeah. So um, it's, a, it's a worthwhile video to yeah. watch. Yeah, watch. David talks about a linear audio. It's a company that's uh, now remanufacturing his Zodal designs. Uh, the room also had resolution acoustic <laughs> room treatment, which I'll tell you what, I'm going to ask for some of that to test out. 
because it doesn't look like it was made in your garage. Mm -hmm. it look, you know, like, yeah, yeah. I won't mention those other brands, but there's, like, <laughs> some of them do look like they're made in the garage. These did not. These I look know. really, really, really good looking. And they were teamed up with the MAD, or MAD, audio speakers from England. And uh, th that was a, a very good one. Yep, so, the, I mean, these were the highlight rooms at the Capitol Fest this year. And my favorite part of Reviewer's View, what... What I take home, I'm going to ask Terry first. What would you I take home? I always get to be asked first. Why is well, that? I did think about this. I want, I want to take um, Kevin's uh, 200 IQ amplifiers home. Well, d d durr, she, because she's, he's going to send them anyway. Well, that's what I want. <laughs> <laughs> You want what you want, I want what I want. Well, anyway, she's going to get her wish. Uh, we're we're going to put them in listening room, too, in a couple months. Uh, I am going to have to just say I'm going to, I, I want a pair. I want a pair of Hartsfields. I want a pair of John Wolfe's Hartsfield oh, loudspeakers. Yeah. They have mid-range to die for. I've heard the T5s mm -hmm. over at uh, one of the our reviewers who worked for us last year's home, and they were spectacular. Uh, even Greg uh, from UHA said he was amazed at the speaker. Mm. He, he himself fell in love with the loudspeaker, and there was a pair sold at the show. So, hey, how about that? I mean, I just, uh, you know, the bucket list of speakers to own, bingo, that's it. Hartsfields for Brunniger. So, overall... It was, it was nice. It was um, a nice And, you know, show. I really thought it was amazing. They had a $12,000 system giveaway. That was very cool, and that helped bring people in on Sunday. I wouldn't yep. want it. I'm yep. going to make an announcement if or the person doesn't want their name revealed. I don't know. I saw on the website that they didn't put the guy's name down who wanted. So, we'll, uh, you know, anyway, check that great out idea. on the website. a great idea, though. I have yeah, great it. idea. I got it to the promoters. You did, hey, smart thinking. Um, anyway, overall... Fantastic cap fest this year. Great sound. Hats off to everybody who participated yes. in it. And we look forward to seeing you at the next show coming up, which is going to be what, Terry? Oh, Come on, hurry up. Come on. Okay, the New York show in the fall. Rocky Mountain audience. <laughs> ah, there you is go. The big one. That's the big one. That's what's coming up That's next. That's always such a fun event. And uh, they've remodeled the hotel. Uh, some of the rooms are going to have a little challenge for some folks, and other. It's just oh, give advantages. Yeah. That's right. For example, the Larson loudspeaker, which is a room that sounded extremely good at the Capitol Audio Fest, mm -hmm. uh, run by Michael Vamos from Audio Skies. These speakers are made to go up against the wall. Where do you hear that video? So he said he has a big advantage at, at Rocky Mountain this year. So when you go to Rocky, go to the Larson room. Check them out. You don't have to have your speakers out in the middle of the room. It's kind of like audio notes. You can keep them in the back. Can I take those home too? No, you're, it's your first choice. That's the one that matters. That's it. So, anyway, sorry. <laughs> no, next time. <laughs> next time. <laughs> anyway, uh, we had a great show this year. Uh, we hope to, uh, again, see you at Rocky Mountain. Mm -hmm. And uh, until next time... This is Peter Berninger reporting for AV Showrooms and... Terry Orinji with AV Showrooms. Great. Have a great, great time listening to music Bye, and enjoying high-performance audio. We love it and we know you do too. See you later. Bye. Bye-bye.